Today we're going to turn this room into a plant room for my anthuriums. Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome to a completely different video. I'm starting a little project and I thought I'll take you along. This is my second bedroom and so far it's kind of just been a dumping ground for everything, a bit of a plant hospital. I didn't really utilize it to its full potential. But over the holidays, I want to change that. I want to turn this into an anthurry room. So a room full of anthuriums. Basically, this is supposed to be a plant room, but I also want this to be a second bedroom for any guests, hey Brett, for any guests that might visit me and so on. Now this room gets the least light in my entire apartment. It has a northeast facing window, so same exposure as my bedroom or the um, or part of the living room. But there is a big tree in front of the window. So despite the fact that same size window, same exposure, it's just much more shaded, darker light. Which leads me to the sponsor of this video, Mother. Thank you so much, Mother, for sponsoring this video. And we talk a little bit more about their grow lights when I set them up later on. We got a pretty blank canvas for now to deal with and I have to admit I haven't really planned anything. I don't even know the dimensions of this room. I would guess that it's probably three by three meters and I'm really just gonna wing it. I'm just gonna... Uh, I have a few items of furniture down in my garage that I don't use all the time so I'm just gonna bring them up and I'm just gonna see what works, what fits and then I'll start placing the plants around. Knowing me, I know that this setup is probably going to change every three to four weeks anyway. I love rearranging, so um, you know I'm not over. I'm not. I'm not over planning over here. All right, now let's have a look at what this room looked like before I start cleaning it out, and I'll show you what I've done so far. And through your room project day one. So this is the before. That is the unfiltered mess. That is the spare room. At this stage, I really just use it as like almost like a plant hospital or any plants that I just don't really know where to put them right now. I don't have the space for them. They come in here. Also any sort of other stuff like pots and planters and like personal items and so on that I just don't really know where they belong. They all go here. I also use this space to set up experiments, for example. You might have seen that video where I experimented with different mediums within a moss pile. So I use this space where, you know, for propagations, for any sort of experiments that I'm setting up, just so it's out of my way. A lot of duplicate plants over here, so I don't need to have them twice in my living area. So they go in here. But I want to stop that. I want to stop growing multiple of the same plant. Instead, I want to turn this entire room into a dedicated room for my anthuriums. But also it then becomes a bit of a guest bedroom or a guest room in case somebody comes and visit, they could stay here. Couple of steps. First, I need to declutter. I need to get rid of anything that I don't need anymore or that I don't want to keep. So any of the duplicate plants, they need to go. Um, so I'm taking them down to growing grounds and my friend AJ and I are going to sell them over there or I'll give them to friends. Perfect timing, it's Christmas, you know, so everybody's gonna get plants for Christmas this year, that's for sure. Then a couple of furniture items need to go to storage. So I don't drive, I don't have a car, but I have a garage downstairs, so I have like spare furniture in there. So the table, for example, I'll put down there and I'll see if there's any sort of shelving or any small table that I can take up instead to hopefully make this room look good and make it functional as well. And I also want to clean out the wardrobe. So I use the wardrobe or the built-in wardrobe I use to store all of my materials that I use all the time. So my aeroid mix, uh, my moss pulse and so on. I obviously make sure that everything is dry before I put it in there because it would go moldy in there. Um, and over here, I just have a lot of pots and planters and so on. I can hardly even open things at the moment. Up here, I literally just have like boxes. I'm like this person, when I get a plant sent in the post, I feel like I need to recycle the box and one day I'll send a plant and then I'll use that box. I don't ever send plants out, so they just accumulate over here. But let's see what I can do with that. Maybe I can take them down to AJ's as well because she posts out a lot of plants. So maybe she can repurpose these boxes instead. So I want to clean out the wardrobe so I can actually fit more stuff in here that will free up a bit of space in the other storage. I want to declutter my plants. I want to bring some stuff downstairs into the garage. And then once the room is empty, then I'll start thinking about how I want to set it up to make a good setup for my anthurium. So let's start with step one. Day two. 
Hi, baby. Yes. Are you helping? Good boy. Yes. You want a corner? I put a little kitty bed in the corner for you, yeah? Okay. Good morning. It is day two of the room makeover and things have changed a little bit already. I'm trying to film as much as I can, but this room is honestly really small. I've got you on wide angle right now so you can even see everything. But it's really hard to actually move in this room, empty out the room with big bulky items uh, and film it at the same time without just knocking everything over. So I didn't film my efforts yesterday, but basically I had some help bringing down the table into the garage and I also dropped a bunch of plants to AJ. Also, I cleaned up the built-in wardrobe and today I really want to focus on these storage boxes down below. So I don't have much storage in my apartment because pretty much everything is just plants. Yes? What's up? Whee, whee. Everything is pretty much just plants. So I don't have a whole lot of storage. So this is kind of where I have some of my more personal items like paperwork and so on. I, I try and um, be as tidy and clean as possible. And I don't think I have a whole lot of stuff. I have a lot of plants. But if it wasn't for the plants, I don't really have much. Um, so all my life fits in these boxes down below. But today I really want to go through them to see if there's anything I can donate, get rid of, um, if there's things that I still need, if I can maybe just organize it a little bit neater and make a little bit more space. And then based on how many of these boxes, yes, my baby. And then based on how many of these boxes I'm left with, that really decides on, you know, what sort of shelving I require on top of obviously the plants. And then that's the second part of today. I'm going to clean out all of the plants. I'm just going to you know, I give them a little bit of a spray, clean the leaves off in the bathtub, and then I'm going to arrange the room. So I want to select the furniture, I want to select whereabouts they are, and then I want to fill it with anthuriums. And that's probably going to take a little while longer. It's probably going to go through a bunch of different setups until I find found a final setup that I like. So let's better get started with it. But first, I really want to clean out everything. This is just me going through the boxes. Spread is helping. It's not super interesting, so I didn't bother filming it all for you. A few moments later. Alrighty. And today we're building the couch slash bed. And I'm hoping that maybe this can also turn into a bit of a spot where I can film YouTube videos all the time. Right, so we're gonna build this together today. I am excited. I usually love building things, but I've never done it on camera. So let's see how that goes. All right, sorry neighbors. Brad is gonna be excited about that box. I can tell you that. Okay, good news. There's only five steps. So this should be really easy. Ooh, I like that color. Oh, I hope it's not broken. I just got rid of that box. This should be easy enough for me to talk to you while I do this. So I'm renting. Because I'm renting, I can't actually do any further renovating than what I can do right now. I can really just rearrange. That's it. I would love to paint the walls. The walls are a little bit... Weird. I mean, you can probably see it's not actually as yellow. It looks more yellow where the shade is. Like this is where the light hits it. It's actually quite white. I just feel like it's an inconsistent color and it's a bit not dirty, but it has a lot of markings. So I would love to actually, um, I would love to, uh, I would love to paint the walls. I would love to change the carpet around but i'm just renting so first of all there's no point in me doing it because i don't know how long i'm going to be living here for and second of all the landlord might not actually allow me to so hello baby so i'm just i'm just going to fill the place with plants until you can't see the wall anymore that's that's my approach okay step one 
Careful, baby. You're gonna get squished. Red, get out from there. But I'm actually excited. I reckon this room. I also don't have air conditioning, but this room should be the coolest during winter, uh, during summer. So maybe this is gonna become my new hangout spot during summer. That would be cool. Reddles, you're loving the new couch already. This could be your couch. Brett doesn't like like cat related things. He loves human things. So he always sleeps like on the couch or on the tail on the chair. He doesn't like when things are specifically for cats. Hang on, I think I've got like a machine for this. I feel like the one I need is missing. Why are they all too small or too big? How is that possible? There's one missing. <laughs> I reckon that's the one that I need. Ah, why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay, well. We're back at this well it's, it's fine it's just annoying huh last one my brother thanks for your help invaluable all right okay guys <laughs> I've already advanced to step two. Look, step two is literally just put the cushion on there. All right, let's do it. Brad, maybe you can help me with step two. Come on, get off for now. Sorry. So, how does this work? Is this this way? No. I'm confused. Which one is which side? Oh, hang on, is it this way? So step two is harder than expected. We are done. Oh, oof. It's pretty, pretty hard, actually. <laughs> actually, I, li I like it. I don't like it if it's too soft. This would be good for filming videos. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't necessarily like this bit. It's kind of like a bit shriveled up on this side over here. But anyway, it is what it is. Now, to turn this into a bed. This legs, coming this legs coming out the back as well, which you obviously can't see right now. I think there's just two legs that come out over here. Wow. Well, it's horizontal. It's a good start. Hey, baby. Come here. It's not bad. It's definitely hard. I, I like a hard, a firm mattress, but maybe, maybe like a little mattress topper would be good. But overall, like it's good. Do you like it, Brad? Do you like her? Do you like her? Yes. Great. Don't, don't ruin it though. Yeah. Can you not, not, not break it? That would be amazing. Right, and it was really easy. Flipping it over, so that's good. Whoop, careful. Baby, come on, get off, get off. Given that this was honestly the cheapest option I could find online, it was actually really hard to find a single seater that falls into a bed. It's usually for like double couches, but this room is really small. I mean, you can see this is already oh, taking up most of it. All right. Okay, Brad, what's next? Okay, I think next, now that I have this, I'm going to design. <laughs> okay, design sounds too fancy. I'm just going to put stuff in this room that I think matches this. We'll see. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm back with a second coffee. I'm a bit sweaty. I just took down a lot of stuff downstairs into the garage. Um, I moved the shelf just right under the window so that way it will give me a surface. Yes, 
So that way I can put some plants right over there. They will get a lot of light exposure. So I can put like prop boxes over there as well. For example, it would get really great natural light, but not too much sun because the tree is shading it a little bit. Now I've got the couch. I don't know where exactly the couch goes. So I'm just going to look at where the other furniture goes now. I don't have the grow lights yet. They're still stuck in the post and given that it's the holidays, everything is a little bit delayed. But the idea is that I put the grow lights um, towards the end of this shelf. So somewhere over here and have one go onto this wall and one go onto this wall. So really the entire room should get sufficient light for plants to thrive. So I don't really need to consider where's the best natural light and so on. I can really just set up this room based on what I think looks best. Now, I also want to set it up so that going forward, I can film some YouTube videos and I like the natural light coming in from here. So if I have the camera over there, I want this corner to look good. So, yes, let's check this out. So I've just got this IKEA bookshelf. I was thinking I might like the idea of this being like in the corner. You like that too. And then this being right in front of it. And then obviously I've got more shelves, so I can put a few. I don't know if you can even see that. Well, wide angle is crazy. <laughs> I had no idea you could actually see this. So I was thinking I have some spare shelves so I can put more shelves in here and have like two, three layers of kind of anthuriums and that would make like a nice backdrop. Of course, every couch needs a coffee table. Rattles. Sorry, my baby. Come on. Every couch needs a coffee table. So I was thinking this one would work quite nicely. Yes. And then matching on this side, just another shelf for plants. You've already taken up the seed, huh? So, I mean, I know that these black, they're a little bit too dark. I wish they would be a little lighter in color, but I already have them. So I do want to reuse them. I suppose I really need to see what it looks like with plants in it. But I also really want to get a little rug, just something to cover the carpet because the carpet isn't the nicest looking that I will probably have to purchase as well. But the idea behind this is that I purchase as little as possible. I had to purchase this lounge because I didn't have anything like that that would fit in here. And well, Bredels is loving it already. So I think it was a successful purchase, was it? Yes, it was a successful purchase, perfect. I'll pop in the link as well where I ordered it, but obviously I ordered it somewhere in Australia. So I have no idea if this would be available wherever you are. Um, but I'll pop in the link where I ordered it over here. All right, Brett, can you promise me that you're not going to mess with the couch straight away? Pinky promise? Pinky promise. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, you're loving it already. Oh, this could be your room. You just need to share it with the Anthuriums. Okay. Six and a half hours later. Hey everybody and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Brothers, this could be our new setup. Do you like it? I like it. It feels good, it feels natural. I just need a few plants surrounding me. I suppose that's really the main, the main thing on my channel, right? You gonna help me at all or are you just supervising? Brad, if you mess with this couch on day one, naughty. Otherwise you can't, you're not allowed in this room. Can you be trusted? Can you be trusted? I don't think so. Yes. All right. So I shall organize some plants to come back in here. 
So I'll wrap it up today and then we'll see each other again once the grow lights have arrived. So I can set up the grow lights and once there is light, there shall be plants. So I suppose I'll see you soon. Baby, you're still here. You didn't even leave. Do you love this chair? Good, okay. It's yours now. Okay, you want dinner? Okay, let's go. Day three. Come here. A few plants have moved in over here just because, well, I don't know where else I can put them. So they always lived here, so they got to stay living here. Um, and I really like that setup right behind me. Obviously, it needs to be a little lusher. There's too many gaps still, but I'm going to move the, all the other anthuriums into this room and actually arrange the plants once the setup in itself is complete. Now, I thought about this setup and I don't like it. So I don't like these two tables. I think they're too dark. So I want to try an alternate setup and see if I like that better. And if I don't like that better, I'm just going to take those tabletops off of these two tables and I'm going to spray paint at least the black steel to be white instead. Hopefully that won't make it look quite as dark. Let's give it a try. Brett, are you helping me? Brett is on fire today. I don't know what happened. Brett, are you helping me? All right. Let's undo all of this. <laughs> These lights are so bulky as well. Not happy, Jane. Now, these are not the best looking shelves anymore. I used to use them in my bedroom for my poles. So when my plants were still a bit smaller, they would all be on here. But now that all of my poles are so large, I put them right on straight on the ground. So I have these left over and I just put them in the garage. I sometimes use them in like know how I love to rearrange. You love this bread, don't you? This is fun. Is this fun? So much fun. Yeah, bread loves these little cubes as well to hide and sleep in. So I feel like this could be a good setup for you, don't you think? You're loving it already. Are you loving it? I like it better. I think, let me take a step back so I can see it from your perspective, I like it much better. Plus, that means that this shelf over here that you can not probably not see right now, that is the same shelf as these ones, just like a double up, like a double, like stacked on top. And I used it for the storage boxes, but I could fit the storage boxes here now, and then I don't need that shelf over there. <laughs> So guys, I have to move you. All right. I like that better. What about you, Brad? I think he's a bit jealous because I'm taking over the chair. Now, I do like this. Well, obviously the surface of this shelf is a bit meh but that will be covered in plants so i'm excited also means we don't need to spray paint which would have been kind of exhausting great which means now there's truly just one thing left the like no, two things left i need the proper grow lights these ones are just not cutting it um they're just not strong enough and they're not broad enough like they're, they're they're really they're like a spotlight so they really just focus on a spot i need the light to be broader and fill the whole room 
Um, plus, I really dislike the color of these lights. Um, so I'm waiting for the mother lights to arrive. Then I'll set them up and then I can move all the plants in. I'm also planning on moving a lot of the plants from my IKEA cabinet into this room instead because it's getting very crowd crowded in there. So I feel like we've done all the hard part, the fun part, the, the plants and the decorating that's still to come. So it's only going to get better from here. Happy days. 12 seconds later. I changed my mind with spray painting after all. So I'm at a friend's place because I don't have enough room to spray paint without ruining my entire apartment. So I'm outside, gonna wear a mask and we're just gonna spray these frames white and see if that hopefully matches what I had in mind. One eternity later. All right, final day of my Anthuri room project. Now it's been a week, I believe, since I last saw you. And in between, I have received all of the things that I need to finalize this room. Well, not all of them. I also ordered a rug. See, I went for an outdoor rug just to make it as easy as possible in maintenance. I'm assuming I'm gonna do a lot of repotting in this room. So it is made from recycled plastic and it is blue, green, whitish. Unfortunately, that's still stuck in traffic somewhere or I have not received the delivery. It was supposed to arrive at the beginning of the week. It's now the end of the week and I really want to get my plants in here. So I have decided to not wait for the rug. Ultimately, it's not going to make or break the room anyway. But most importantly, my grow lights have arrived and I've got some artworks for the wall as well. So today I want to finalize the project and currently all of the anthuriums that will move in here are in the bathroom. I gave all of them a thorough watering and a thorough spray so they are fresh and happy to move in here which gives me the opportunity to set everything else up before the plants come. All right, first of all, I didn't show you the updated tables yet. Last time you saw me, I was still spray, paint, spray painting them. Honestly, guys, I have done a terrible job at spray painting them. It's really patchy. That's why I'm not going to show it to you close up. But overall, it changes the vibe of the thingy, the table. So I'm much happier with it now that it's white. And I also spray painted the matching shelf. Definitely run out of spray paint on this one. So... There's like a specific way I'm supposed to show this. Yeah, not this way, I think. Um, anyway, it doesn't really matter. That is gonna move just right underneath the window over here, just so I can put a few plants on here to take advantage of the natural light. And this is kind of going to become my like filming table. It's annoying, isn't it? My filming table, my like coffee table and so on, but my repotting table, so I reckon that will be nice. Now I'm gonna get rid of this grow light. So this grow light is, um, well, it's just a light bulb. It was an Ikea one, but I mean, as you might've just seen, I really disliked the light. It gives like a pink purplish light and um, it's just a spotlight, man. So I need more, more light than that and I want the light to be much warmer. The plants look weird under that light as well, so not necessarily what I want for my setup, plus the actual lamp that I decided to put the bulb in is super bulky. I used to have two of these in here, but that was okay because I didn't really use the room, so it didn't really matter how bulky they are and so on. I just wanted to make sure there's some sort of light that the plants can take advantage of. But now that I actually want to turn this into a nice room and I want to spend some time in here, they need to go. I already took the first one down. I'll take this one now. I'm replacing the ugly grow lights with these mother plant spectrum 32s. When I had the idea of making this video, I knew that light is going to be the biggest factor in this room. So I reached out to mother because I absolutely love their grow lights. I have been using these plant spectrum 32 for almost a year and a half now. Um, I have two of them in my bedroom and the growth I see in my bedroom is just amazing. Um, I have the same sized window, same exposure. So there's plants that purely rely on the, grow light, the light that the grow lights give up. And I have seen amazing 
like amazing growth in my bedroom, better than any other room off my apartment. If I compared it to the growth that I have been getting in this room, um, specifically with these two IKEA lights that I showed you before, despite the fact that they didn't look nice, the growth just was not comparable. I didn't really get much growth at all. Uh, I, it helped my plants to not die and recover from like root rot or something like that, but it, it wasn't really amazing growth that, um, that was produced by these grow lights. Plus, they looked a bit hideous as well. So now that I want to make this into a room where I want to spend a lot of time in, I want to film in, to me, and with always aesthetics, to me is really, really important. Um, so now I wanted to make sure that I've got the most aesthetically pleasing and functional alternative for lights. So in my opinion, if you want aesthetics to meet function, the mother grow lights are the way to go because they are just this super slick looking black minimalist grow light. How beautiful is that? And wait until I turn them on and you actually see the light. Now, if you watched any of my other videos before, you would know that the number one thing you need for your plants to grow to maturity is light. Everything else, like all of your care, all of um, you know, the fertilizer that you use, whether you use a moss pole or not, what medium you use, how much you water the plant, all of that is just to realize potential. But the light exposure really sets the potential that your plants have. So if you don't give your plants enough light, they will never mature, even if you provide them with the perfect care. Um, so it's not just about care. It's about it's, it's mainly about light, actually. So I'm just building it. So the light came with this little disc. I'll just mount this to the bottom with the screws and the little, I don't even know what you call this, the little tool provided. And that is as easy as the setup really is. So I lost my train of thoughts, but I think I was talking just about how important light actually is. So light is really the most important factor in growing plants. And that's probably the thing that we all struggling with the most indoors because we have ceilings like in nature there would never be that much concrete above a plant right so light is probably the thing that we're all struggling with the most and if your plants are not sizing up if they're not maturing if they're not giving you larger leaves so they're giving you really large large internodal spacing it's probably because they're not getting enough light now, I do not want to turn this video into a full repeat on light and what to look out for in light and so on because I've done a full video on light, natural light and grow lights. Um, so I'll just link that at the end screen. I'll also link it in the description if you want to find out more and I talk in depth about everything I learned about these mother grow lights um, over the last one and a half years of using them. And I also have a discount code for you. You can use discount code Sydney Plant Guy, and it gives you 10 to $15 off. It depends on what currency you're paying in. Um, I'll put in the exact discount amounts and the threshold you need to hit to unlock the discount amounts in the description as well, as well as I'll actually link the website so you can go check them out. So everything that you need to know about these lights will be in the description. And again, thank you mother for sponsoring this video and helping me out with my project. Alrighty, now let's get on to constructing. The other thing that I also wanted to say is that their adapter actually comes with like multiple attachments. So it can be used in any country of the world. I really love this. One down, I'll quickly put together the other one off camera. Um, it also comes with this little switch. So you can decide to plug in the switch if you want to manually switch it on and off. Actually, I don't think I need that because what I do have is I have a timer and that timer is just automatically going to turn on and off the grow light. So I don't need the manual switches here. I just have this. Um, it's like a smart, so it goes with grid connect. It's like a smart, smart plug. So I can just plug it in and I have an app on my phone. Um, this is already configured because I used it with the old grow lights and then I just have a little adapter so I can put both in here. Um, and I set it up so it turns on every day at 8 in the morning and it turns off every day at 10 at night. Plants also need darkness so there's no point in having it going 24-7. So let me test this out. Beautiful. All right. Oh geez, hang on. You're going to be blinded. It's supposed to go this way later. 
So you can see this is going to be nice. Okay, so I reckon I'll have one on this side and kind of one on this side like this. Is it going to be like this? That is good enough for now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this aside so I don't Right, I'm going to put these aside so I don't fall over the cables, but they're going to live on here. Obviously, they're not going to live on here. If I film in here, then I might have to like move them out a little bit or something like that. But while I'm not filming, I suppose this is where they will be living. All right, I think it's almost time for plants. But there's one more thing that I got for this room. I used to be a bit of a photographer. I had a drone and I would always go around Sydney and take amazing landscape photos. Well, I think they were amazing. You be the judge. I like them. Yeah. Anyway, so you might have seen some artworks in my living room um, with like, you know, the, the, the ocean and the rock pools and so on. These are all photos that I took back in the days. So when I started setting up for this project, I posted a little poll up on my Instagram account, giving you the option to choose between four photos and I'm going to get the one with the most votes printed and it's going to hang up here. So I'll pop on screen the four photos that you got to choose from and well, let me get the end result. So you know which one won. And the winner is this one. Excellent choice. That was my personal favorite as well. Now I got this printed at Officeworks, same place I got my previous prints done, but when I last ordered them, and it was a good five, six years ago, they actually gave me the option to put it on foam board. This time they didn't have it, they only had core flute. So it has a bit of texture. You might see that when I move it, it has like these little ripples, like core flute. You know? So not happy, happy, but um, it's okay. At least it's a unique artwork. There's only one of these in the world. And then there's a really sophisticated way of putting this up because I can't drill anything into the wall. I just <laughs> duct taped a piece of twine to the backside of that. And I have one of these 3M hooks on the wall, you know, the ones that come off without leaving any marks. So let's hang this up here. Ta -da! While we're decorating, I also have this little throw that's just going to add a little dimension maybe i don't know i just like the color okay i like the color come on i feel like the more messy you throw throw on here the better it will look okay let's have this and you would have seen this one already i bought it one day i just don't know what to do with it so i'm throwing room take one what else where are you and anyway. That's the Brettles director cut. And over here, I'm leaving room, I'm manifesting things. So I suppose we'll see what this will be filled with one day. Full disclosure, I'm probably going to spend a lot of time just choosing the right pots for the right plants. So for today's sake, to not turn this into an eight hour video, I have decided to ignore pots. I'm just going to put the plants where I want the plants to be. And then at a later time, I'll check in around the pots and which pot fits where. Alrighty, guys, I will just speed this up. I won't let you have to go through all of this with me. All right, so I moved all of the plants in. So these ones on the table these came from my ikea cabinet so it's the first for them they don't usually live here so let's put them here now they do live in like perfect conditions uh in the ikea cabinet right so it might be a little bit of a shock for them to now move out of that cabinet and move in here but at the moment we're having really hey baby at the moment we're having really humid weather in australia again or in sydney um and it's summer and i now have the grow lights as well so i'm doing everything i can to minimize the shock yes my baby sorry i took your chair didn't i and hang on there's one more these just did not have enough room in 
the cabinet to actually grow to their full potential. By the way, I love this book, Botanicum. Look at how amazing these illustrations are. It's not mine. I don't know where I got it from. Oh, a little candle for the atmosphere. Put the atmosphere on this side of the room, yeah? Alrighty, and we're done. Alrighty, I really wanted to finalize that video yesterday and I did and I recorded everything, I edited it, I looked back at it and I didn't like it. <laughs> Classic. So um, I think I was just a little bit too tired towards the back end of yesterday to really look at this room and assess what it needs and so on. So I have rearranged a little bit, just the plants. And I'm a little bit happier with this setup as it is right now. I still think there's a lot of room for more plants. I'm still struggling with the concept of not having moss poles in here. Like I need to, <laughs> I wanted to, I want to keep this as an authorium room for now. So this is the third time I'm trying to film this and I think I'm finally happy with the setup. I rearranged the furniture a little bit and I rearranged the plants. And of course it didn't last long until I started adding some moss poles into the room. I'm not sure if that philodendron soderoi is going to stay over here or not. I suppose once the anthuriums grow a little bit and start taking over more room, I will move this out of here and it's going to be a true anthurium room only. But in the meantime, I wanted to, you know, create a nice display for me to start filming YouTube videos over here as well. So I'm really excited. This is going to be my new setup where I could do all my reporting, all of my YouTube videos and so on. Happy days. Let me show you everything close up. So let's start off with this plant over here. These are my little crystallinum hybrids um, and I made these. I grew them from seed and I made the seeds. I used um, this over here. This is the mother and parent plant. So um, I used the pollen as well as the berries from this plant to make these little babies. So a very proud little um, plant parent moment over here. All right, and right next to them, these are some Magnificum hybrids. I did not make these ones. Um, a friend of mine gave me some berries and I grew them and they're turning into this nice lush little pot of seedlings. I honestly just don't have enough room to pot them all up separately. Right next to it, as I mentioned, this is uh, my Crystallinum hybrid and it's pushing out a beautiful new leaf over here. That is awesome. I can never pronounce that one. All right, I'll put it on screen. Um, that one came from the IKEA cabinet. It's been in here for a week now and it seems to be happy. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to die within a week, but I haven't seen any issues. It's actually we're still pushing out an inflow, so it seems happy. Right next to it, we have a Magnificum hybrid. This I grew from seeds as well. So again, not my seeds. There were seeds from the Mellow Pot uh, grower here in Queensland. And yeah, I grew this one from seed, so I'm also really proud. And it's really nice and dark, has beautiful veining, and has kind of like frilly edges. So yeah, it's nice. I think it was a Magnificum hybrid. Oh, and it's pushing out a new leaf as well, since I put it in this room. That also came from the IKEA cabinet, but because it's quite large, it had to go all the way to the bottom of the cabinet, where it was just getting the least light. So I reckon it will actually like it in here. Right behind me, we've got my philodendron soderoi on a moss pole. I just wanted to fill that vertical space behind me, but I reckon once the anthurium start growing more and pushing out more leaves, I will fill the, sp the space behind me with anthuriums as well. Um, down here, we've got, this is a Magnificum uh, crossed with Forgetii. That's why it has the nice closed sinus and it has an inflow over here. Happy days. Um, next to it is another Magnificum hybrid. This is actually the same one as this one. Same as this one, came from the same batch of seeds. It has just, it's a little bit more frilly. Um, it wasn't grown in the IKEA cabinet. I believe that's why it's much smaller. It's a little bit unhappy, but I'm hoping that the new room is going to make it very, very happy. Up here, we've got a Clarinervium. I just really recently added that to my collection, so I haven't even potted it into my proper mix yet. That is definitely on the to-do list, but I was just focusing on getting this room ready. Then over here, we've got a, another Crystallinum hybrid. I do not know what it's crossed with, but it looks very different to that other Crystallinum hybrid, right? So I love the variety you get with Anthuriums. Really beautiful, nice, velvety, 
And it's also pushing out a cute new leaf down here. Yep, beautiful. Next to it, I've got a Clarinervium hybrid. Again, no idea what it was hybridized with, but AJ gave this one to me for Christmas. So thank you, AJ. Can't wait to see what this grows into. At the top, this is a Magnificum. Also has seen better days. Also was not growing in my IKEA cabinet. So um, I reckon this is the best setup it has ever had now. So I'm, I reckon it's going to grow nice. Um, this one is Anthurium Beachii. I grew this one from seed and this took two years to get to this stage. I'm having a really hard time with Beachii's. I, I'm honestly, I'm, I don't know. But maybe now that it's, I think this is the most leaves it ever had. It's got five leaves now and this is also the largest leaf I think it ever had. So maybe it's finally happy. We'll find out. And another Crystallinum hybrid over here. That one actually had root rot. And I had to put it back in moss. And since I put it in moss for propagation purposes, there are so many new chunky roots. It lost zero leaves while having root rot. It had no more roots left and it didn't drop any of the leaves. I don't know. That is super hardy, this plant. Right, I need to get up. Sorry, I was trying to be as lazy as I can with it. <laughs> um, this is Anthurium something with D. I put the name on screen. Not my favorite, but we'll see. I think it has potential. It was just a bit neglected over the last few months. And over here, we've got Bosworth Beauty. Comes out with these really nice burgundy purplish leaves, and then over time, they'll fade to green. But what I love about them is the really white sinus. So that's a little bit of color and texture and shape. You might have noticed I have a thing for like veiny, veiny, veiny velvet uh, anthuriums. So, yeah. Um, okay, moving over here, I have a fan. Of course, airflow is super, super important as always. So I've got the grow lights. I mean, I have a window here as well and I love opening the window. I just got it closed right now to not let in any noise. But that fan, I don't have it on all the time. I just turn it on every now and then. Most of the time I have my window open and I have the door open. So there's a bit of air circulation going through. With so many plants in a room, you must, must, must have good airflow. It's actually gonna, it's like wind in nature. In nature, these plants grow in the forest and there's constant wind. So it actually makes the plants grow stronger. Over here, I've got some skindapsis. You guys know I'm not a trailing person. Like I don't have, I think these are the only two plants that I've actually got trailing. I grow everything up on moss pole. I just, I don't know, I like skindapsis when they're trailing. So I kind of like this. Maybe I should get into that. I don't know. Right here and right next to the window, I've got this little table that I spray painted and this is really just where my seedlings are. So I've got like a little prop box with seedlings in there. They definitely need to be repotted. But yeah, they appreciate the natural light over here. Because of the tree that is right in front of the window, it is kind of shaded. I don't need to worry about them getting too much light. And then yeah, some more little seedlings and um, actually a little alocasia here as well and so on. Nothing too fancy. All right, and lastly, let me just quickly show you the wardrobe as well. I cleaned that up a little bit. So over here, I've got all of my pots and planters um, nice and handy in case I need to do a repotting. So over here, I've got all of my ingredients for aeroid mix. So my bark, my perlite, cocoa chips, pumice. Um, I've got a tub of aeroid mix. In the back, I've got a tub of like... Um, like a mix that's a little bit finer, more water retentive for non aeroids the three and a half non aeroids I've got. Um, and then here I've got some moss poles, the mesh, some grow vertical poles. So really the goal is that everything that I need to repot something or put it on a pole or extend a pole, I've got everything in here. So I don't need to procrastinate, right? I can just get onto it straight away as soon as I notice that a plant needs something. If I would have to go downstairs to the garage to get it first, or if I need to go to the shops and so on, then it's just too many excuses to potentially not do it. Plus, I like to buy things in bulk. So I buy big bags of everything and then I just fill the tub and I bring the tub up and all of the big stuff is just living in the garage. It's just so much cheaper um, and less hassle. You don't need to look for some, you don't need to go buy things every couple of weeks. And then over here, um, I've got fertilizer, moss, pest treatment stuff, a few more planters and miscellaneous stuff up there. Some um, of the more finer ingredients for my airroid mix that I don't need to use so much of are here as well. So 
everything that I need is in this wardrobe and it's right opposite or right next to my new repotting table. So I'm really excited to get productive in here. Anyway, let's go back to the nice looking side of the room. All right, I think it's time for us to say goodbye. I had so much fun recording this video for you and making over this room. I hope I can make a few more of these special project videos in 2023. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you enjoyed the outcome. I hope you enjoyed the final result. Like, subscribe and leave a nice comment and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye. Bye, my baby. Mwah.